on my fish tube, this is Ryan Max Cichlids again, dropping a quick video. Uh, I was just kind of walking around the fish room the other day, and there's something I do in my fish room that I wanted to share with everybody. Uh, it's kind of a hack, it's kind of simple to do, but uh, I wanted to share with you guys, this isn't something I came up with my own, this is something I found on a, I think it was on a Facebook group, on a... Uh, I can't remember exactly which one, but I've been doing it for a little while and it's really helped out. And uh, as far as the giveaway, I'm getting real close to 200 subs. I think I'm about eight away. So uh, thank you everyone who subbed me in the last week. You know, I think I've gotten like 10 in the last week. Really, really cool of everybody. You know, and everyone who's also subscribed. But uh, let's check out this fish room hack real quick. So one thing I do, this is kind of. You know, if anyone has a fish room or multiple tanks, you have a cluster. You know, I have power strips everywhere, extension cords everywhere. I try to keep it neat and clean, but you got a lot of things all plugged in, and you can't really know what they are. So, especially on my on the rack here, you now this is all powered off that one power strip. So when I do water changes, I could just you know, if you look at these. These are bread tabs, and I clip them on to each one of the plugs so I know what they are. Now that one's heat, 40 breeder. The red ones are heat, the white ones are filtration. That goes to my AquaClear 50, my AquaClear 70, you know, the red ones are heaters. Over here is the same, you know, I got this, the light labeled and the heater for the little five gallon labeled it's really something very helpful that i've been doing uh in the fish room i just kind of wanted to share that with everybody i think it's a cool tip i luckily i work in a restaurant so i can you know kind of grab my own bread ties when i want but uh you know save them up and and use them for that i think that's a really cool idea that i saw it's worked out great for me and um, just wanted to, you know, the 125 real quick. And I also want to show you guys this real quick. That's, you no know, my female 40 breeder. I took the male out because he knocked up half the girls in there. Um, these are all tumblers. This is a DIY tumbler that I've made that I found out from uh, actually KG Tropicals. That's why I want to do that. That's sponge filters with some nylon and elastic on them. I might do a video on how to make those one day. This is my Tinsky tumbler. Those are all OB fry, uh, OB blueberry fry. I also moved everybody out of the 20 into this 40. And now the 20 is just my super red and sisters. Um, hopefully maybe get them to breed. There is one huge male in there. He's hiding But uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to do and uh, show Show that quick hack off and um, No, please like this video comment subscribe to my channel and uh, definitely doing that giveaway real soon So stay tuned and uh, right back out Peace Go Pats App Nation